Hello everyone, I am Shivang Mehta. In this video, we are going to analyze Sigam Quantum Technologies Limited IPO, which is coming on 28th Feb and which is listing on 11th March. So we are, do we are going to technically analyze the prospects of this IPO. So let's start. So let's see about the company. Shigan Quantum Technologies is engaged in business of designing, developing, manufacturing and assembling alternate fuel systems, that is LNG, CNG and hydrogen fuel kit systems. Since April 2020, the business has ventured into fire detection alarm systems. It manufactures alternate fuel systems for high duty, high duty and light duty vehicles, power generation equipment, industrial equipment and of highway applications. It exports CNG fuel system to countries like New Jersey, Sweden, Canada, Australia, Italy. So as we can make out that company is quite diversified in equipment manufacturing and has a global market for its products. So moving forward, looking at the financials of the company. So over last two years, company's assets has almost doubled from 2200 crores to 4600 crore now. And revenue of, of company has been has remained quite stable around you know a billion dollar a year and considering the resilience of the company in covid season company has done quite phenomenal job coming out as a profitable company in covid situation as well so company is giving around four to five percent returns on its re revenue over year on year company valuation so eps of the company is positive which is a great sign for investors as well real value is generated by the company pre ipo price is 18 so company is quite considerably and justify and the valuation of the company is quite justifiable at the pe of 18 return on network so com company has a margin of 20 percent and net asset value of company is 66 crore 66 per share ipo objective so meet working capital requirements so this industry is capital in intensive industry so working capital requirement and the operation cycle of the company is quite long so time to time working capital require for the working capital requirements company is raising money to finance machinery purposes as i said it is capital intensive the company needs to keep upgrading with the dynamics of the market and the movement of the market and ever in evolving technology so company has, will finance machinery with this with the proceeds of this ipo as well general corporate purposes and meet offer expenditures now coming to the ipo details so ipo is opening on 28 feb 2022 closing on march 3 this is a fixed price issue ipo so there is no range of price for the IPO given, face value is 10, 10 and IPO price is rupees 50 per share, market lot of 3000 shares, so minimum 3000 shares has to be, you know, subscribed, listing at NSC, SME, so it, as it is a, you know, a small cap company, so it will be, you know, listed on NSC, SME, which is a platform for small scale companies. So issue shy size is 45 lakh 39,000 equity shares of rupees 10, aggregating to 20 cro 22 crore rupees. Fresh issue is of 45 lakh 39,000 equity share of rupees 10, aggregating to 22 rupees, which is same. And as we have basic allotment date is March 8, initiation of refunds will be on March 9. And IPO listing will be on March 11. Sigin Quantum Technologies IPO markets market lot size is 3000 shares as we have seen before. A retail in, individual investor can apply for up to one lot of 3000 shares which costs around 1,50,000. Okay. And at this point of time, company holds 100% of its holding but after IPO, post, issue shares, post issuing shares, company will hold 73%. So still the managerial powers will be remain with promoters. IPO reservation. So 50% IPO is, you know, reserved for NNI and 50% for RRIs. And there is nothing for 
you know qualified institutional investors or mmrp and total cost of I, ipo is 22 crore competitive strengths of the company highly experienced managed managerial team as companies has been in this business for 30 years so managerial team has seen up and downs and created a vast you know vast wealth for its investors standard quality and stand, standards of assurance so company has a particular standard certified by the central bodies for the for manufacturing of its products and companies company is doing business at the global level so australia sweden canada so there is a benefit of diversification of market for the company a strong relationship with the suppliers company has a very strong relationship with suppliers which is also a leverage for the company considering the cost advantage pros of ipo so company has been resilient in covid era and delivered sharp returns for the investors consistent profit and revenue for the company and growing asset base of the company provides security to investors. Company has a positive EPS, so this is the best any investor can ask for and justifiable valuation considering PE metrics of the company. Company has a strong margin of over 20%, which provides space for leveraging in future if required since it is a capital intensive industry. Pons of the IPO, companies in high high capital in intensive industry causing working capital constraints time to time company needs to do high borrowing for expansion of production putting investors at risk this might be a great con for subscribers of this ipo lack of growth in profit is also a threat to investors and margin of the company has dipped in recent past considering the volatility and considering the market situation and the health situation of the planet should you invest in IPO? So this is suitable for the investors who is knowledge of the industry. IPO subscription is not recommendable, recommendable for you know conservative investors considering volatile market condition at present. Leveraging is not advisable for IPO application. Company may benefit in short to medium term due to rising price of crude oil leading to energy substitution as people may move to LP, LPG, CNG. So company might see demand for infrastructure development in short term. The rising price of energy also cause hindrance to the large scale industrial consumption, leading to the lack of expansion. So price of CNG and LPG has been rising as well. So this might, you know, be a constraint for the in industries to consume on the large scale. So in the indirectly for indirectly, they won't also they won't need the infrastructure also. So this might be a loss for the company rise for the re renewable source of energy might cause loss for the company so in future uh, renewable green energies are coming up so that might be a loss for the company in future considering the movement of you know world from a fossil fuels source of energy or the natural source of energy to renewable source of energy now as an investor you have to decide what is your risk appetite and knowledge of the industry and and then you can decide to invest. Thank you.